Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this mega drop down menu using Fig. Let's begin. To start this tutorial, let's go to the description of this video and download the exercise file. And once you open it in Figma, you'll find a navigation or a top nav bar and a couple of interactive components. Using those components, I built those three uh, drop down menus that we are going to use for our top bar. Now, without further ado, let's go and create a new page. Let's bring our top nav bar here. And also, let's copy those two mega list command C and command V. Next, we're gonna assign uh, a uh, drop down menu to each one of our navigation. All right, so the first I'm gonna add this here. Let's move that to the side. Excuse me, I meant this. All right, like that. Now let's open mega list and let's move this arrow with clip content so we can see the arrow and let's move this arrow to the center and move it to the bottom and also move that like that all right now let's do that the same let's hide this mega list and for mega card list let's go and maybe look clip content and move this to the top like that and center and then let's go and assign it to this legal link all right something like that let's repeat this make sure they are both aligned mega list and mega card and let me change let's rename this mega list one and also copy and past this will be mega list two so we need to have a standardized naming let's move that a bit down so we have you know approximately the same arrow size all right we are good now i'm gonna duplicate those two command c and command v and move them to the side for the third let's hide Let's only keep mega list three. This would be for feature. And you can also change the text. Add what you want. But for this tutorial, we're going to move fast for this part. And mega list four, it's our cards menu or drop down. Let's assign it to a resource. All right. Now let's review everything. So we have four mega list under a nav bar. And what I'm going to do is to first select everything and assign it to a group, group, command G, and change that to a frame. All right. Now let's rename this main menu. This is our default menu slash default slash default all right and now let's go and hit command c and command v to duplicate and move it to the bottom all right so this will be we're gonna use it after this now for our default Let's go and select our four mega list and 
let's hit the last edge of the menus hit clip content and let's I mean re like that re crop and for the layers let's put it at 0% so we've made this to create a transition of revealing uh, our mega menu all right and now for our duplicated main menu let's rename it to mega one or drop down one drop down one and this for our drop down one let's hide mega list four three and two and let's only keep this and here I am going to you know select the first uh, the first link and for my fill here as you can see in my trigger I have a rectangle that has zero percent fill let's go for 100 fill let's change its color to a blue color so this will be our drop down effect and also this company let's change it to a darker gray like that so this will be our hover effect or once the drop down is active we need to change this state like that all right now let's go and duplicate and create a drop down menu for our second item so for this let's go back to default let's change this color to this same gray and let's make this zero opacity and let's hide megalist one and let's, let's reveal megalist two again select the trigger this is trigger layer and rectangle 100% and change its color to a blue and this to a darker gray next let's go and duplicate and we we'll make the same process let's hide list 2 let's go with list 3 let's change this next to you know, our default gray and this to zero opacity and here again the same process 100% opacity and let's change it to blue and this to a darker gray all right one last thing command c command v for drop down four hide list three and reveal list four all right now for my rectangle for the hover effect this is zero and this is default gray let's make this darker gray and the last layers for our rectangles a blue all right now we have four frame each one with a drop down menu for each link and we have our default menu so let's center relatively to those screen our main menu and let's go and start creating our connection so and for our company link 
let's select it and what we're gonna do is to hit this select matching layer I hope it will work all right so with select matching layer I have selected all the um, company buttons all right and each one of that button I want to tell my prototype I want to create an interaction so let's go and create an interaction and let's give it mouse enter navigate to let's go to drop down one and here as you can see I have created mean for connection to this first screen or you know first drop down let's go and create this for every single I mean uh, menu item so for my legal select all the legal buttons create new interaction mouse hunter and navigate to drop down to all right here we go our connection has been created and make sure it is smart animate and cut uh, gentle all right so let's go back to this you know let's go back to company and make sure select the trigger select every single company button and here in my interaction let's change it to smart animate and gentle all right so we need to have a smooth animation so let's go and click for my third item make sure it is triggered and you are not selecting this frame all right so we need to select the container of my uh, link and as you can see figma will highlight every single frame that is the same as this selected one let's go and select matching layers create new interaction mouse enter navigate to for this time drop down to three and smart animate jump now one last time resources select everyone create new interaction mouse enter navigate to main menu drop down four and smart animate gentle all right now let's go to our uh, preview and let's see how things work all right now if i hover great as you can see it works great now if I move down inside a drop down menu then move out you know our drop down menu will not go out so we need to create once we move out our uh, our mouse we need to hide this menu but I mean I am satisfied with this result but let's go and create this last effect so let's go here and select every single drop down list like that hit command shift or yeah hit just the shift button and select one by one all the four layers or the four mega menus let's create a new interaction and let's select mouse leave navigate to main menu default and smart animate gentle all right that's great as you can see it is beautiful connection it looks like an octopus all right now let's select 
let's see how it works if I go out go out all right as you can see it is a simple effect to make nice let's go and select presentation to see it in full screen and as you can see works great now to uh, I mean to make this even better let's go and select everything and let's create a create component set let's keep its name main menu and now once you create a design you can just add this as a component and those screen will be hidden in the component side so all we have at the end is just this main menu all right so for example let me give you an example create a new frame of uh, you know desktop design and let's drop down this menu like that let's make it something like that all right and also let's change the background to a darker gray and as you can see here I can add my design here and this my main menu is totally functional let's go here and let's see as you can see it works like a charm all right that was everything for today's tutorial thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will find you in another tutorial but before you go please hit the like and i will see you in another video